guys, it's Jamie, and today I have a tutorial for you doing this look, and I used everything that I got from the MAC Give Me Liberty of London collection. Some of you asked me to do a tutorial on that when you saw my haul video, so here it is, and I actually think this will be pretty helpful to help you guys decide what products you want to get, how I'm using them, and you get to see them in action. So that's really cool, especially before the launch. Just a quick message, too, about my um, tutorials. This is how I do my makeup. I'm not a makeup artist by any ways, and what you're going to get out of my tutorials are everyday looks. Things you can wear to work, things that aren't too dramatic, things that aren't very heavy or bright, um, just very wearable things because in my life that's what I need and that's what I do, so that's what you'll get here. But I'm really excited about this collection, so let's get started into the tutorial. So I've already primed my eye using the FYI Primer by Benefit, and I just do this using my finger. And after that, I just applied my Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. Next, I'm going to take the Give Me Liberty of London, which is a pink color. It looks like this. So I'm just going to get some on my brush, about that much. And then we're just going to take it and apply it over our whole entire eyelid. Okay, once you've got that over your eyelid, you're just going to take the same brush, turn it sideways, and bring it up into the crease, just like this. So once we have our Liberty of London pink color down, I'm going to take the next color from the collection, which is Bow Gray, and it looks like this. It's just a pretty gray color with kind of a greenish undertone. And I'm going to take my Stila number 30 brush and I'm just going to get it into the color. And then I'm going to take it into the corner of my eye, kind of circling it, and then just bringing it over into my crease. So once I get a little bit of that down, I'm going to go in with the other side of my Stila brush in the same color. And I'm just going to get some of this on there. And then I'm just going to kind of draw this onto the outer third of my eye, this outer corner right here. Just so we have that. And this brush is really good at creating that little cat eye effect. Especially when you're wanting to bring some of this darker color down onto the lid. And then you can just switch sides and blend. So I love this brush. It's just such a great brush. So next for our highlight, this is something new I've been doing. It's really simple, it's really effective, and it's very pretty. I used to use my 226 brush for my outer crease with this point and everything. But what this brush really works well for, I think even better than this outer part, is to get this inner part. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that right now using Naked Lunch by MAC, which is this color right here. So I'm just going to get some of that color all over my brush, and I'm just going to take it in this corner and blend everything. And then you can just swoop it over to the other side. And this is just a really pretty um, frosty, shimmery pink color. Very close to um, my natural skin tone. And then I really want to make sure that this outer part is nice and highlighted. So you can just take the tip of this brush, which I love like, how it has that tip, and then you can just get that. And if you feel you need any further blending or like, because this might kind of looks kind of harsh, you can just go in with your 239 brush that has the pink on it from before and you can just kind of blend that. So next, I'm just going to get some more of the Bow Gray on my pencil brush. Just get that onto the tip and I'm just going to take it underneath on the outer third of my lash line. Next for eyeliner, I'm going to be using my YSL eyeliner in the Long Lasting Eye Pencil number 1. Just a little one I got in a kit and I really love this pencil eyeliner. Very blendable and it's a very pretty soft black color. And I start at the middle, just draw little short strokes. And it doesn't have to look perfect because we're going to go over this with the brush. And then I just take it out. And then I draw my wing kind of to this like edge of where the um, eyeshadow ends. 
and just take it in. Alright, so since it looks really chappy and it doesn't go in all the way, a good trick is to take an angled brush and just go over your line and I like to use this to kind of make my line a little smoky and to even it out and then I really like to extend my tip if you can see. So it just uh, creates a really nice effect and then I just bring it down a little bit. So this is pretty much all the product I'm going to apply and the rest of the work is going to be done using my brush. So just take it and just start working it out. Since we're going for a smoky look, it's okay if you're doing this and the line goes above. You want it to be a little smoky and smudgy. The wing is pretty easy when you're doing a wing if you have problems just to do it with the brush because the brush really does all the work for you. And now we're just going to go ahead and bring it down to the bottom. No need to add more product here. You can just use whatever's on the brush. And then we're going to take our pencil and just line our upper water line. And I do this just by opening my eyes up really wide and looking up. This pencil transfers very nicely onto the water line, which is another reason why I love it so much. My bottom water line, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Pencil in 23L, which is my favorite for the bottom waterline, and it's just a very shimmery, light kind of color. So just to do that, all you need to do, no pulling necessary, just look down and ever so lightly touch onto your waterline. And that's it. And then what I like to do, you can see there's kind of like a shimmer right there. I just like to take this and kind of make this look like it's going one continuous line into my waterline. So that is it for the look. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes using my Shu Umira eyelash curler. And then I'm going to apply my mascara. And this is a special edition mascara from YSL. Um, you can get the formula anytime, but this is supposedly their blackest black color. And the formula is the Volume Effect Fossil. And I absolutely love this mascara. I've done everything with concealer and powder except for my blush. I'm going to be using the Summer Rose color, which looks like this. So it's a pretty bright pink color. And I'm going to take my um, 168 brush, which looks like this, and just get it into the product. And I'm going to take this on my cheekbones, coming down and stopping right about there. Just kind of dabbing it and working this on right there. I'm going to do my other side now. Kind of going for the look just to apply it on my cheekbones here. Not taking it in too much right here. And blending it down just a little. So now for the next one, I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of shell pearl, which is very light. It looks like this in the pan, but when I swatch it, it looks like this. And I'm actually going to be using both of these beauty powders in this look. And I'm just going to take my 165 brush and I'm just going to get a very small amount onto my brush and I'm going to take this and literally just place it right here. And then that's just going to give a little bit of shine. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I... Now we're going to move on to lips. So I just put a little bit of a lip conditioner on when I started doing my makeup. Now it's pretty much all moisturized and I don't even think I need to blot off any excess. And I'm just going to apply some of the Please Me Lipstick by MAC, which is a matte color, so there's no shine or anything, and I really love this. This is great for people who have really red lips. So I'm just going to apply this just using the tube. You can see how pigmented it is. You can see it's a pretty bright pink, but I think it goes, as you can see, really well with this perennial high style from the collection. So I'm just going to tap it with a little bit of this. So that's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you all very soon.